Hey, I'm a computer. Stop, Stop all, all the, the downloading. Help, computer. <laughs> We're not too weird. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna literally hold these. You're just gonna hold them the whole time. Yeah. All right. I mean, <laughs> I guess Robbie's gonna charge up for whatever reason. So. Get charged. Robbie's either a robot or a big giant phone. I'm not really sure. It's debatable. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another edition of On a Couch Talking Sports. As always, I'm Robbie. This is Kyle. Kyle, it is good to see you. I know it's been a little nice while. Too. It's been a couple weeks, but it's yeah. good to be back. How you doing? I'm doing good. Just um, taking in the whole month of March. It's, I mean, it's been kind of a slow month, but, you know, we've had a few snow days, as I'm sure everyone yeah. else in Massachusetts Jeez. has, has yeah. known. <laughs> Over the last two weeks, we literally have had, like, four snow days in the two week, or, like, three yeah. snow days in the two-week period, like... Yeah, that's true. And we are supposed to have another storm yesterday, but that kind of fizzled out, luckily, yeah, so... Yeah, it was more like a powdering, like that yeah. powder, like it was a dud. powdered sugar it you was put a on the dud. cake. It was, yeah, it was like it was that. it was a dud. It yeah. was a complete total death. Pretty much. <laughs> but anyway, so for tonight's episode, what we wanted to do is obviously with March comes March Madness. And March Madness is in full swing uh, right now. This is the second week of the NCAA March Madness tournament. For those of you who don't know, what March Madness is, is the Division I um, men's basketball tournament for college. And... Uh, Yep, memory usage. Anyway, sorry, random computer Sorry. Computer talk. Ooh. Uh, but anyway, so what we wanted to do is we haven't had a real chance to do a March Madness episode because we've been off the last couple weeks. So what we wanted to do is we sort of wanted to look at how the tournament's gone so far and who's left and what teams are making a lot of noise or have made yeah. a lot of noise. And also sort of look at the, the games that are remaining and sort of predict who we think Based on who's left, it's going to go all the way. So, let's do this. Yeah, so let's start out. I, I wanted to start... Um, I'll sort of start from the left of the bracket and go sort of work from there. Because the top overall seed this year was the University of Virginia. <laughs> and um, I had the great insight to uh, predict Virginia... Right, to Sorry, I'm just reaching for win, yeah, here. yeah, <laughs> to uh, win the entire tournament, mm-hmm. and uh, Virginia kind of went out and had some trouble against the number sixteen seed UMBC. Mm-hmm. Uh, they lost them by twenty points, <laughs> the first time That's ever crazy. that a uh, number sixteen seed has beaten a number one seed. <laughs> so literally, my luck. The, t- the tie of history is made the first time that 16 beats a 1 is the one that I picked to win the entire tournament. So, uh, yeah, how do you, Kyle, as a uh, history buff, not necessarily college basketball, but other <laughs> things, how do you feel about uh, being the first time a 16 seed has upset a number one seed this year? It's pretty, pretty historic stuff right there. Oh, that's mind-blowing, because, um, yeah, that's, that's just, like, unheard of. I remember, um, actually... I, I I know some of the friends that are betting in the, in the in this league and everything, and they're they're also like I think even um even even our friend Craig at one point I think I saw or someone on Facebook was like oh that's it the the brackets are broken that's it my <laughs> my, bra- my for the record my bracket is completely busted it's just all busted. like literally every team that I picked has lost yeah just that's crazy the only man. team that I have left is Purdue. So, wow. Purdue, I hope you do well, because that's you're all you're the only hope I have left. <laughs> Purdue well. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Robbie liked it. He loved it. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, just unbelievable. You yeah, know, just, Num- number 16. And not only just beat them, they beat them by 20 points. I mean, like... I mean, it, in college sports, I feel like it's really hard to get like, a really full-on prediction. I feel like, especially in, in this kind of thing, like the consistency isn't really a big 
part of it yeah. as much. Like you just had there's You I never really, know. You you yeah. never know like who's gonna pull an upset or whatever the case may be. Yeah, it's just I mean, you just have all these other teams that you just never regarded the years before and they just step it up and they just completely change the whole game and the brackets and everything. So that's I mean, I gotta give them credit for those teams that are like the underdogs. I mean, man, you know, I'm always ready for the underdog, so there is um, no need to fear. Underdog is here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, cause, I mean, like, looking down the rest of the south bracket, Virginia was in the south bracket. Yeah. The, the yeah. final, so basically, entering tonight, there are four teams left in each of the four regionals. One game has gone final uh, so far in the Sweet 16, which we'll get to in just a moment. Ah. But, like, looking at, like, the south regional, you have... The number nine seed, Kansas State, left. Yep. You have the five seed, Kentucky, left. You have the 11 seed, Loyola of Chicago, left. Okay. And the seven seed, Nevada, left. So literally, none of the top four seeds in the South Regional made it past the second round. I mean, that is <laughs> that is pretty wild, right? There. Yeah, like super. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> and for the record, the game that I was just talking about, um, Loyola beat. Nevada, so literally the 11th seed is going to be playing in the Elite Eight um, come Saturday. Wow. So, go go figure. Now, as we look <laughs> down, and again, it's sort of like the same thing among, like, like among all the bracket, like, among all the sectionals. So, it's like, if we look down to the West bracket being played in Los Angeles this weekend, Ooh, well, you hey. have the, um, you have Florida State, Gonzaga, Michigan and Texas A&M. Now, Michigan, Texas A&M going on as we speak. Michigan winning handily, so it looks like they will be moving on oh, yeah. yep, to the Elite mm-hmm. Eight. Um, but I guess, Colin, let me ask, let me ask you first. Go, going mm-hmm. back to the South for um, a minute. So it's going to be Loyola in the Elite Eight in the in the regional final, I should say, yeah. going against the winner of Kansas State and Kentucky. So out of those three teams, just off the top of your head, which team would you – Predict would you, would you favor to come out of that of that South Regional and make it to the Final Four? Oh man, I mean this stuff. I mean because they're all kind of, especially Loyola and Nevada and Kansas, they're pretty pretty close when it comes to like their placement in the bracket. Um, I don't know a whole lot about those teams, unfortunately, though. To, but um, I mean, I don't know. It, Nevada sounds like a pretty cool team. I mean, Nevada I just lost to just, Loyola. Oh, that's the oh, yeah. because they're so. Oh. So it's Loyola. Oh, I forget it's half. Oh, I keep thinking oh, it's quarters. Loyola is mo- Loyola. Oh, yeah, Loyola is <laughs> moving on, and they're going to wow. face the winner of Kansas State and Kentucky. That was one point too. That was so, that's one hell of a yeah. game. Wow. So you've got to pick out those three teams to okay, win the regional. <laughs> All right. So Loyola, Kentucky, or Kansas. Um, I don't know. Um, Kansas is pretty cool. Well, I'll say Kansas. Kansas State, you mean. Kansas State, yes. All right, I'm going to go with um, Kentucky. All right, we are back. Uh, unfortunately, we have a little bit of some technical difficulties there with Kyle's computer. He's about ready to throw <laughs> out his window. Um, so we had to move to uh, our second yeah. <laughs> secondary device, a.k.a. Kyle's phone. So if you're noticing a bit of a quality difference, that's why. <laughs> Um, so they'll, t- Kyle, but Kyle will be able to edit it all together perfectly later on. I hope. One can only hope. So anyway, nice. what, I was, what I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted by the, the, uh, computer is that, um, I like Kentucky in the South. I just think that out of the four teams left, I think they're the strongest. I mean, I like, you know, Loyola has been on a sort of a Cinderella run. But Kentucky is Kentucky, and they always seem to thrive in tournament environments. So I like them to sort of push past Kansas State and Loyola to reach uh, to reach the Final Four. So now we're going to jump down to the West region, which again is taking place, as I was saying before, in oh, Los Angeles. Okay. Um, the four teams left, and again, you have like... You know, the the top seed not in that one either. You have yeah. Florida State, the nine seed, <laughs> Gonzaga, the four seed, Michigan, the three, who, as I said, looks like they're going to, uh, you know, take care of business against Texas, against the seven seed, Texas A&M. So, I mean, again, you just look at another bracket where it's like, 
you know, the top seed is is not there. I mean, another bracket of an upset. Florida State this time was the one who pulled off the upset against top seeded um, Xavier in that bracket. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. That's and also Texas A&M. And also Texas a <laughs> and also Texas a and You know, beating up on the number two seed North yeah. Carolina in the last round. So. Pretty good, because usually they're pretty good in, um, I feel like they're a lot better in football than basketball, but it looks like they're really showing uh, their for Texas a and for, yeah. yeah. Looks like they're showing a lot of promise this year for their uh, basketball team. But yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, well, unfortunately, yeah. Michigan, again, is kind of beating up on them, so it looks like oh, yeah. <laughs> Michigan, so again. Oops. So again, for this regional, there will be, um, we'll pick out three teams, Michigan, and then the winner of um, Florida State, Gonzaga. So out of those three teams, mm. Kyle, who would you predict in the uh, in the West Regional? I'm, I'm gonna say Michigan. I don't know why. I just it's I agree. Just a gut feeling. I me. agree. Yeah, I <laughs> I think Michigan. I mean, they had a big buzzer beating win uh, the last round against Houston. They just seem to be playing with a with a purpose, especially tonight. I just look at them on paper against like a team like Florida State or a team like Gonzaga, mm. and I just I I think that Michigan is able to get by either one of those. And by the way, that Michigan game just going final now, <laughs> Michigan beating Texas ninety nine seventy two. So okay. uh, I like Michigan as well. I like them to move on. So so far, Kyle has um, who'd you say? Kyle has Kansas State and Michigan on the left-hand side of the yep. Final Four, and I have Kentucky in Michigan. So now moving on to the right-hand side of the Final Four, I mean, of the uh, Sweet 16, the game's being played tomorrow. We mm. start out in the East Region, which of in, of all places would be played in Boston oh. uh, tomorrow night and on Sunday yeah, for the, the Elite Eight at the TD Garden. So nice. <laughs> you've got Villanova, the mm. top seed, so it's interesting, you have no top seeds on the left-hand side of the bracket, but then <laughs> in both the regionals on the right-hand side of the bracket, the top Ooh, seed is still all alive. So you have, Vill <laughs> yeah, you have Villanova playing um, West Virginia in the east, and then you have Texas Tech playing Purdue. Ooh, okay. um, interesting note, in my bracket, the only team that I have left in my Final Four is Purdue, so I'm going to be pulling for them hard this weekend <laughs> in Boston. So, um, But yeah, I mean... Just an interesting sort of differentiation there, Kyle. I mean, you cool. look at one side of the bracket and not a number one seed to be found. You look at the left hand side or the right hand side, and both number <laughs> one just, seeds are still left. Man, it's just been an interesting season, looks like for everyone. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think um, in this in this case, oh man, so those four teams. We're looking at the East Regional. The East so we got again Villanova, West Virginia, mm -hmm. Purdue, and Texas Tech. Oh, I'm gonna say either Purdue or v Villanova. I don't know. I don't know Texas Tech. I don't know enough of it. I don't know. I'm just. I'm. I'm. A lot of these. I'm just really going by gut. Yeah. I'll, I'll admit that. <laughs> so that's okay. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> so who do you? Who would you? If you had to choose between Villanova and Purdue, who would you choose? I'm gonna say. I mean, Villanova is the top one, but Purdue second. I mean, they're so close. They're all so close in the seeds, so, uh... I don't know. Probably Villanova. Yeah. Well, I'm going to disagree pretty. with you, just for the simple fact that, like I said, Purdue's the only team left in my final <laughs> four, so I kind of have to predict them, or else Got my it. brackets could be completely uh, oh, yeah, busted fair. there. So I'm going to go with Purdue. Totally I just fair. think, you know, watching <laughs> them all this season, I mean, they just... You know, they're good from beyond the arc, they're good inside, you know, they just do a really good job just all all around game wise. So I like yeah. I like them to pull it out. Uh which brings us to the Midwest regional taking place in Omaha again. Uh -huh. Those games being tomorrow and um Sunday. Okay. Uh you've got number one seed Kansas, Clemson, the number five seed, and then you've got Syracuse and Duke. <sighs> Ooh. So a couple of some really three out of those four teams that dropped in have ACC teams. So a little bit of a conference uh, Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. bias there. So I mean mm. Duke. I, I'm kind of intrigued by that Sweet 16 matchup Duke and Syracuse because those are two programs that have sort of always been oh yeah Whew. always been um, successful. So I, I like to. I'm very excited to see like. How uh, how that game turns out? 
yeah, I, I think, I don't know, I, I think I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I might have to predict Duke myself. I've heard a lot of good things about you their like team Duke? this year. I mean, I, I mean, I like them fine. I mean, I'm just thinking, like, I'm just kind of going more about no, I mean, her, I mean, you're predicting Duke for this regional? Yeah. I think I am going to as well. I think okay. that, I mean, Duke, you know, you, it's hard to bet against a Mike Krzyzewski coach team. Syracuse, they've had a great run, but I just, I just don't see, I see Duke is too, can be too tough for them. And then I think that Duke can get by either Clemson or Kansas, um, whoever comes out of that. <laughs> out of that 1-5 matchup there. So, to set the scene, in Kyle's bracket, or Kyle's cho <laughs> choices here for the Final Four, are Kansas State, um, yep. Michigan, Villanova, and Duke, where I have Kentucky, Michigan, Duke, and uh, Purdue. All right. So let's look at the right hand back to the right hand side of the bracket because that's where the first semifinal will be. Okay. Um, Kyle, I want to get your prediction first. So you would have, like I said, Kansas State okay. versus Michigan Can in the Final Four. So who who would Michigan? you pick between those two teams? Michigan. Michigan. Okay. Yeah. And so I have Kentucky and Michigan. I'm going to go with Kentucky. Kent oh, really? Yeah, I think, again, Kentucky is just... They're, they're, they're just always so tough. I mean, I mm. I hate to say it, but they just are always so tough. Interesting. And, um, you know, I just, I just... If I have to go between them and Michigan, I just... I think that they will have the upper hand a little bit. Nice. Um, so, so Kyle puts Michigan into his national championship game, and I put Kentucky into mine. Um, so <laughs> now we're going to move on to the other side, where Kyle has um, what Villanova versus Duke, and I have Purdue versus Duke. I'm going to go first here. I mean, again, my pick is pretty easy because I picked Purdue to make the national finals. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick Purdue okay. um, over over um, wait, who did I say? Again? Over Duke. Over Duke. Okay. Um, uh, who do you like between Villanova? Who would you like in a Villanova no. Duke? Matchup? Villanova Duke. I'm going to have to say. I'm going to say Duke. Okay. I don't know. That's very reasonable. <laughs> I think that's very very reasonable pick right there. Oh, thank you. All right, so. Our national championship games again Ooh, the to, final reset two. The, to reset the scene <laughs> are as follows. There we go. I have Kentucky and Purdue. Okay. And you have Michigan and Duke. All right. A little rematch of uh, Final Four from like back in the early nineties. There, Michigan Ooh. Duke. So I'm gonna let you go mm -hmm. first. Who do, who would you who do you, who would you pick in a Michigan Duke national championship game? Probably Duke. Even though I know Michigan's third seed, Duke is second seed in, in both their respective regions. Regions, but I would probably say I would probably say Duke. But I would say probably Duke in a close game. Yeah. I don't think they they would get away that easily. <laughs> All right. I'm ooh, Purdue against Kentucky. I'm gonna go with Purdue. Okay. I think I just watching Purdue play this year. I think if anybody's going to beat Kentucky, I think it's going to be Purdue. I just like the way they play. I like their style. I know Kentucky, Kentucky is very talented as well. But I, I like Purdue. If Virginia's not going to win the national championship, I like my runner up to, to get it done. So I'm going to go with Purdue. So we'll have to see how this turns out. So Kyle's okay. picking Purdue. No, Kyle's not picking Purdue. I'm picking Purdue. Kyle is picking. Um, now I'm forgetting. Kyle's picking Duke to go all the yes. way. Yep. And I'm picking Purdue. So, so we're both picking teams from the right-hand side yeah. of the bracket to win. We're the in next. the right. Wow. <laughs> oh, another serious question, by the way. Since I know, I, I just, I just kind of came upon something. I noticed okay. the two teams that you picked are also different kinds of chicken. If you had to base them on chicken flavor, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, or Purdue Chicken, what would you pick? I mean, if we're going by that, I'd have to go Kentucky Fried Chicken. Got it. KFC, nice. But, but I still like Purdue to win the championship. Okay, so we we just had it. Purdue, the team. But Kentucky but the Chicken. The, Kentucky the Fried Chicken, got it. That's very, very respectable. Okay. All right. Well, now, what, now what would you pick? Not... 
picking by mm. team, but just by mascot. By would you pick Wolverine or a Blue Devil? <laughs> Hello? Does anyone see my poster right over there? Yeah, Wolverine. Is he even on there? <laughs> no. I don't think so. Okay, he's not, on the, he's not on the poster, but yeah, Wolverine. Wolverine. I, I, fig I, figured, I figured you would say Wolverine. All right. Always. <laughs> well, all right, so there we go. So again, we shall see. Will it be, it. will it be Duke? Will it be Kentucky? Or will no? I'm sorry. Will it be Duke? Will it be Purdue? Or will it be somebody else? Ooh. Ooh. You never know. We'll have to see. All right. So now we're gonna move on to the end portion of our episode. Our monologues. I am gonna go first, if that's okay. All right. My monologue. I would just like to give a big. On a couch, talking sports, congratulations to the Wellesley Raider girls ice hockey team who uh, this past Sunday captured their first state championship uh, since 2006 by defeating uh, Canton 1 to nothing at TD Garden. Uh, I had the opportunity to uh, announce that game. It was really, really cool. And so I just wanted to say, girls, Congratulations, I know it was a long Good time job. coming and uh, you made the, the community and the school and everybody very proud and uh, great, just a great, great win for this program that had come up short a, a few years in a row there and you know, three, the last three times they've made it to the garden they came up a bit short so this year to, to finally have them be able to get over the hump was, uh, was really nice. So, yeah, that's, that's um, epic. So great job, great job, ladies, and uh, maybe maybe next year they can go for the the repeat. Um, <laughs> but great job, very very happy for you. Um, Kyle, you got anything for us this week? I do actually. Um, this is more of a this is gonna be an interesting monologue. It's not really a monologue as much as it's more of just like a discussion with kind of a question at the end for actually the audience. <laughs> so. Uh, and believe it or not, yes, this is sports related. I promise. So I was sure looking at <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at a video game site, and I was looking at a bunch of online games because I know they have sites where you can buy games just online. You don't have to have the systems anymore. You can just do it through your computer, obviously. Yeah. Um, like Steam. So what? Um, one of the games I found, I think it was on. Oh no, actually no. I'm sorry. What am I saying? This one. This one was on Nintendo Switch. So it's on actually the new. Yeah, the newest Nintendo system. For those of you who don't know, it's called Golf Story. Hmm. So this is literally a game where you, yeah, you play golf, but you play it kind of, it's like, it's like an RPG. So I don't know if any of you guys out there are big video no game fans. No idea what that means. Final Fantasy, actually I got, yeah, RPGs like, like this. Here, I'll pull one out right here. Chrono Cross, the Chrono <clears throat> series, RPGs, anything like that. Final Fantasy. So it's literally, it mixes golf with an RPG style. So you go in, you level up your character, you, you you kind of like improve the stats and everything so they get better at golf. It literally instead of fighting people, you 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 play golf. It's just like these golf matches. So they sort of like have it in like this sort of eight bit style kind of so in this like old Super Nintendo kind of classic look to it. So it's kinda of, it's it sounds kinda of cool. So if you guys ever stumble on that, um let, let, let me know how it is. I, I, I've been very curious about it because I don't have any new systems. I, I'm an old system kind of guy. I have like, yeah, like Super, see, Super Nintendo. That's I'm old. Well, I mean, if you're old, then I'm, I'm <laughs> ancient because I still have a PS2 that I've had since like high it's oh, like middle PS2. school. <laughs> That's all you need in life, man. That's PS2. I barely best. play it, so it's. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> My sister has a Wii, so I mean, I guess that that oh, yeah. compensates a little bit. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know how that is if you guys ever get or if you ever find out about that game Golf Story, because it just sounds like a, such a cool mix, like mixing sports and RPG. I've never seen anyone do <clears> that, so if you play it, let me know. Cool. So yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that. A little video game <laughs> review description there. Pretty. <laughs> More like a preview, I guess. Yeah, call pre it. <laughs> preview. Yeah, exactly. All right. So that's going to do it for this edition of On My Couch Talking Sports, which today, tonight spanned uh, two different two different um, <laughs> modes of media and. Yeah. Uh, both in HD. Uh, yeah, it should <laughs> be very interesting to see how this comes out in the editing room. Um, anyway. <laughs> For Kyle, I'm That's Robbie, me. signing off here for On a Couch Talking Sports. We will see you next time, everybody. 
Goodbye.